I did promise a manicure routine, so I recorded I recorded when I painted my nails last week and uh, now I'm doing the actual talking part. So I have everything laid out in front of me and I'm going to let you know how I do it and kind of a history about my nails and how I have them looking like this. But before it was so bad I used to bite my nails, I used to wear acrylics and I know people still wear acrylics and that's perfectly fine if that works for you but when you decide to take them off what you're left with your nails look disgusting disgusting and I just I wouldn't be able to let mine grow out because I wouldn't I couldn't stand the look of it um, until I finally said you know what I'm gonna let them grow I'm gonna let it be and just let it go <laughs> but um it worked for me and it took a couple months for them to grow out and now I have, um, my nails are fine, the surface is smooth, um, I don't have to worry about any ridges or bumps and I've found my own little routine that works for me. Um, I'm not saying this is what everyone should do but this is how I do it and people have asked me to do this so let's start. So first, I start off with the Zoya, what is it, the 3-in-1 formula nail remove, and this is my absolute favorite nail remover of all time. I know it's a bit pricey, and I think you can buy the big jug so that you don't have to keep buying this container, but it's such a good, it takes everything off, and I don't wear glitter polishes, I'm not a big fan, but if you do, this will take it off. So I start and I remove everything with this nail polish remover. And then I didn't film this part because me and water and cameras do not mix and I'd probably end up dropping my camera in the sink. But I exfoliate my hands um, with this True Blue Spa 60 Second Manicure. Is it Manicure Hand Scrub? Yes. And this is from Bath & Body Works. And I got this back in January, I believe. And I still have a ton left. Um, it smells... You can smell it through the packaging. It's very citrusy. I think there's lemon in it. Yeah. But you grab a bit. Um, just scrub it on your hands dry. You might want to put some water just to lather it up a little bit to make it uh, not foamy, but it, it kind of gets really emollient and uh, almost like a milky film. And you just scrub for 60 seconds. I scrub until all the uh, exfoliant is gone, all the granules is gone, and then you wash it off. And this, I have a love-hate relationship with this. This does dry out your hands, but it takes all the dead skin off. So as long as you moisturize after using this, you should be fine. I go in with my Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. And all I do is apply it around the cuticle area on each nail. Let it sit for about, I'd say five minutes and then go in with this, um, I think it's Satin Edge, yes, Satin Edge um, cuticle pusher. And I got this off of Amazon and I gently just push it back and I hear that you're not supposed to cut it or you do cut it. I'm not sure. If I see something that I don't like cutting it and I use, oops, I use this tool and I guess it's a cuticle cutter. I've had it forever but this is what I use and I just take all the dead skin off and then after I'm done doing that I will take this nail file which I got at Sally's Beauty Supply and it's a medium grit file and I think this is a little bit too harsh for my nails I meant to gr grab a uh, fine grit and I grabbed this one instead I don't know why 
but it's what I've been using and I just I lay them I lay my hands flat and in one swiping motion swipe in one direction that's what you're supposed to do I like my nails a squared shape I don't like rounded nails at least on my hands I don't think they look right I found the best shape is square and uh, I enjoy it then I go in gently with this block buffer and I do this about maybe twice a month and I just smooth out all the ridges and my nails peel a lot so I just smooth that out a little bit and um, then I'm done with that then after I do that I wash my hands and I go in with my base coat and my base coat of choice is the Revlon Color Stay. Um, I think it's the long wear na nail enamel because there's two different lines and this is the newer bottle but I go in with this and the trick is to get as close to the cuticle as you can without touching it because if you do it kind of creates a pool and nail po when you go and apply your nail polish color it will go in so I try to get it as close as I can. In the video I use Essie's Meet Me at Sunset and I have been obsessed with the whole red orangey lip and matching nails so Essie at Meet Me at Sunset is a great dupe for Chanel's holiday nail polish if you don't want to splurge too much on that so I just go in with Essie's polish and I do my first coat and I'm very very careful and I start from the middle of the nail and then paint around the sides and let that dry and then I will go in once again with a second coat of the nail polish and uh, again start in the middle and paint on the sides and that one's a little bit more easier to do the second coat usually and sometimes uh, polishes need a third coat I'll go and do the third coat but I like to wait about five to I'd say eight minutes and let them dry in between before I go in with another coat. And my top coat of choice is the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. And I know it has a lot of nasties in it, but I can paint my nails with, or I can use this top coat. I'm painting, and literally two minutes after I'm done using it, I can go use the bathroom or. I don't know make myself something to eat and my nails are dry I don't have to worry about nicking them and it has an extra shine coat to it and it lasts the entire time that I'm wearing it then after I'm done with my sesh feet top coat I will go in with OPI's Avoplex cuticle oil to go and the only reason why I use this versus my uh, Burt's Bee lemon cuticle butter cream is I don't feel like sticking my finger in a pot of um, something hard and ruining my nail or just getting stuff in between my nails. I just cleaned them and did everything I was supposed to do. So I'd rather go in with this one which has a brush and I will brush it around the cuticles just because they're super dry from all of the, um, the nail polish remover and then the scrub and filing. So. This will bring back some moisture into the cuticles and throughout the week I will use the cuticle butter which is amazing. I love it and I've been using it for quite some time now. I put quite a dent in it. I, I use the L'Occitane. Um, I have an almond one. Uh, this is the almond milk, yes. And then I have the regular formula upstairs and then I have another one in the kitchen and I can't think of what it is I just I have them all over the place I love these and it's the only thing to seem to work with my super dry hands they're so dry and gross all the time okay so that is done if you like this video comment rate subscribe whatever thumbs up thumbs down whichever you like and um, I'm not sure what my next video will be but I will see you guys later. Bye.